Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll be taking you through a couple days in my life. So I bought these two scarves about two years ago and my ultimate intention was to frame them so I can use them as artwork around the house. The idea of framing them is probably not new but I actually got this inspo from a YouTuber I follow and I remember seeing her frame her scarves and I just thought that's actually a pretty good idea. Anyway, I was supposed to take it to the frame shop ages ago but I never got around to it and today I finally decided to stop being a lazy ass and get my ass to the shop. The LV one is called Around the World and this Hermes one is called Fabor Tropical. The details in these are literally so incredible. Little highlights that are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. As far as the black on this goes, do you want it to just be a simple black or do you want it to have like a ridge or anything or do you want it to maybe. just be like Let's see are these the same or uh no so this one actually has a little ridge to it right here oh okay i think this one looks a bit better mm. yeah i think it, it, this one does match like all the gold accents on here i know not to bring down like super ornate stuff Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems like you like keep more of like the simple kind yeah. of straight plum finish. It's like a more modern. Oh. I'm just really curious. I feel like I'm that really would. Um... <laughs> I know. I just have to see. Okay, listen. <laughs> it doesn't but, yeah, look bad, is... but it, it feels like a like um Kitchen. artwork in a gallery or something. Oh, yeah. If you go too thin, it can cause problems just with the structural stability. So using something that's at least like that thick mm. will help make sure that everything will stay together and not fall apart and things. It's a little bit different. This is okay. Yeah. Like that one or this one? It's not. They're both of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Uh, we don't need to get it. Mushroom. Yeah, one. Um, can I get the matcha? Yes. So two durians and two matcha. Uh, so cute. Thank Thank you. Hi guys. So in my previous video, I talked a little bit about manifestation, and I actually got a lot of pretty good feedback from you guys, and I just thought to come on here and share another little tip that I think really helped me with attracting things and you know creating a better life. So in the previous video we talked about gratitude right and just for a little refresher having an attitude of gratitude for even the smallest things in life puts you in a mentality where there is no lack, no scarcity, and just full of abundance. And when you are naturally placed in that mentality, that frequency of abundance, that's when you attract similar things of abundance, of goodness to you. What I wanted to share this week is something that I personally have been paying a lot of attention to, and this is to be careful of what you say. Because words carry weight, and words are powerful. And we all know this because words have the ability to affect ourselves and other people. Just like, you know, words can hurt people, words can 
can encourage people, words can make people happy, make people sad. And this is the same for the words that you speak to yourself. And I never really believed this. I always, you know, say like the worst things. I always expect like the worst to happen. And I feel like there's a couple of incidents that happened recently that reminded me to, to be very cautious of what I'm thinking in my mind and also to be cautious of what I speak out of my mouth. So two quick examples. These are very small, but it, it was also pretty freaky to me. A couple of months back, I went to Miami. The first day in Miami, we were eating oysters. We were eating like some kind of seafood and raw, like raw stuff. And in my mind, like before we start eating, I was just like, honestly, like what happens if I get food poisoning from this? And then I was like, if I get food poisoning, my whole trip is going to be ruined. We ate the seafood, we finished dinner. And literally the next morning when I woke up, I, I felt so sick. Like I went to throw up in the bathroom and that never like happened and then i thought to myself i was like oh my gosh like was it because like i already kind of set the tone for myself by thinking that i might get food poisoning from the food that i was eating and another little example was like this past weekend i went to a festival with with my friends we had like our own little uh section because it was pretty crowded some of the girls we had to sit on the couch and then there was also like a rail and then i was just sitting on the rail and then it felt very like unstable and wobbly and I, like, and I thought to myself, I was like, what happens if I fall backwards? Like then it's done, you know, like I'm done. And then I also gave that thought a lot of emotion, uh, which is fear. Like I gave the thought of me falling backwards a lot of fear and a lot of my energy in it. So, you know, I stopped sitting on the rail. I, I came down and I was just having fun and whatever. And then like my legs got tired. I went to sit down on another couch, which I thought was going to be safe. So I was just like sitting there and kind of like, you know, moving around dancing like and out of nowhere i literally fall backward like i ate shit like, and my back kind of got injured it was such a hard fall that like it was really loud big thump when i hit the floor and like my boyfriend saw me and he was like what the fuck and then i just thought i was like dude literally i was just thinking that like what happens if i fall backwards and that's exactly what happened so you know i'm not a very superstitious person and i don't think this has anything to do with like magical forces or like a force like beyond me or whatever but but it's just a reminder to be very careful of what we say. For example, when it comes to money, you see something that you like. You shouldn't be saying that, oh, I like this, but I cannot afford it. Instead, you should be saying like, oh, I really like this and I can afford it. I can afford anything. I can afford everything that I want. I can afford all my desires. That shifts your entire being into a higher frequency and your being will be in tune with the frequency of what you want. And that's exactly what law of attraction is about. It's just about you tuning into that frequency of what you want so the universe can mirror that frequency back to you. And this means, you know, to attract those things to you. So yeah, we really do have to be cautious of what we say because our words really do play a big part in manifesting things. It's literally raining cats and dogs here in Orange County and it's been mega cold. I'm just freezing in the house every single day. I am actually going to my friend's birthday dinner tonight. I haven't seen her in a long time, so I'm super excited to celebrate her birthday with her. I'm mean, right now I'm just trying to get ready, but my hair just feels kind of flat. Like I washed it yesterday, but it just feels very flat and not, not much volume. So I'm gonna try to give it some volume now. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but let's give it a try and we'll see how it goes. And the freaking lashes are like all messed up. I need a fill. <gasps> Don't look at me. <laughs> Just show you guys what I'm doing. But I'm gonna get some. This is like all my hair stuff over here. I'm just gonna get like my dry shampoo and this, I don't know, volume spray. Supposedly this has a lot of reviews, but I don't know if it's because I'm using it wrong or I don't know how to use it. Like I don't really see a big difference. I'm just going to start with some lash shampoo, not lash shampoo, some dry shampoo and I got this at Target. I, I really like this. It's even though it's like, t it's only 10 bucks, but it works really well, especially on like second day, third, third day hair. Always remember to shake it out. Just wanted to grab my legs. Lighting is so bad. It makes my skin look so yucky. Anyway, I know some people do like crazy stuff with like sectioning off their hair, clipping it, but I literally do none of that because first, I don't know how to do this, like I'm too lazy, but I literally just grab my hair, 
spray it. Just remember to shake it between each spray. I just massage my hair to, so it can absorb the oil. It's so funny, like whenever I use dry shampoo and especially the ones that leave like white cast, it makes me feel like a grandma because it makes me look like I have gray hair. I'm gonna do the other side. So I think I look like I have a little bit more volume than before. And I'm gonna go and use the dry texture spray from Living Proof. This part gets me a little bit stressed out because I have exactly no idea what I'm doing. A difference. I feel like it looks the same. Okay, no, my hair is all messed up. Definitely, I think it's a little bit less flat. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, I'm gonna go do my makeup now. So, so I'll see you guys later. I just got my friend some flowers. They're so pretty. I'm on my way to her birthday right now. It's literally raining cats and dogs outside. Like I was just drenched and I was wearing slides with my socks on because I was gonna put my boots on later when I get to the restaurant, but I literally just stepped in a puddle and now my socks are wet. So great way to start the night. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the dinner. Hey, if you guys are my home let me know my dress is up here. <laughs> this empty space next to my bathtub so i found this perfect bathroom organizer stand from pottery barn to put next to it so let's unbox set up and decorate together